Hey, good afternoon, everyone. It's uh, Jake Burkett with Real Broker. Thank you so much for joining us today. Got another great home tour for you today over here in the west side of Las Vegas in Summerlin. Um, this is a Pulte community. This home was built in 2021, so it's just a couple of years old. Of course, please like, subscribe, comment, engage, interact with us. We appreciate it all. If you have any questions, text, email me, hop on our website, get a free home search set up, home evaluation. All my info is right there on the bottom of the screen. All right, before we head into this house, um, like I said, it's just a couple years old, built by Pulte. We're out in Summerlin. The home itself is uh, 3,526 square feet, four beds, a humongous loft, three car garage. We got a one and a two right there. And without further ado, shall we go inside? Let's do it. Okay, I walked straight in and uh, wanted to show you this kind of great room. I love, I love these rooms like this where it comes in, big huge ceilings, you know, we're talking 20 or so feet. I love those high windows up there, which are on automatic shades, remote control, excuse me, not automatic, so you can control them, but just kind of pan back and give you a little more look on this room. Got some beautiful stairwells right there. It's got a little fireplace over there. A lot of things you could still do with this house. It looks beautiful as it is. There's also some blank canvases, which I call the walls, which you could do a lot with. Kind of give you the little gleam over there. So re really nice, looks, looks really well in here. Gonna pan over here to the kitchen a little bit. We got a nice size center island. I do like how the center island countertop and the back are two different colors. I think it gives it just kind of a good pop in these homes. GE appliances or excuse me, Whirlpool Appliances GE fridge. Soft shut, I like how they ran it all the way up. You got that extra bit of molding on top to close that gap over there. You got your microwave, you got your oven right there. You got a little butler's pantry over here to the right. And there's a uh, big old nice walk-in. Uh, my gosh, why can't I remember what these are called? Pantry, geez, excuse me. So keep all your food stored in there. Got a nice five burner cooktop. Um, what's kind of cool about this house is you got this like breakfast nook area over here, formal dining area, whatever you want to call it. You also have this extra room back here. So you could enclose this if you wanted to, make it a study, you can make it a little different, you know, type of uh, dining area or whatnot. So there's a lot of different things you could do and I've been in this model a few different times. And so um, it's pretty cool, but um, Real cool feature here. Let me open this up. Got this whole corner slider. So we have really great weather in Las Vegas, like eight, nine months out of the year. And what's great is when you can bring the indoors and outdoors together, kind of bridge that little bit of a gap. So I love it when these whole corners open up. It just creates like a whole nother dimension to the house. Of course, these blinds would go up entertaining friends and since we're here we'll just pop in the backyard still a blank canvas we are low side high side so you can see there's homes up above but they're they're quite a ways up there you're not going to have any any issues and there's a bit of an offset on top of that block or a stone wall back there too so a lot you could do with that and then if you wanted to see what it looks like from here got that all right so we're not done downstairs we have missed a couple of areas so before we go upstairs and check it out let's take a peek got a nice home office right here right so a lot of people work from home nowadays this would be a great home office for you there's also ceiling fan jacks all over the house so if you want to put some ceiling fans in two-car garage right there but it's packed with stuff so we're, it just looks like a normal two-car garage we're just gonna skip it over here we have the laundry room and then we have another little, just linen, or excuse me, coat closet right there. So nothing too crazy. This, excuse me, would be your formal dining area. That's the breakfast nook over there by the kitchen, right there. This would be if you had a formal dining area, formal dining table if you wanted to. You could also enclose this, you know, make another office, bedroom, studio out of it, whatever you wanted to do. It's uh, set up just kind of waiting for you, so. Hopping over here, we have the single car garage. It's empty, we'll take a quick peek at it. So, just looks like a normal garage. We do have a tankless hot water heat over there. 
and you can see the loop for the soft water for the house right there too. Got tile also, if I didn't mention that, throughout the house. Got your downstairs bathroom. I'm trying to do a better job getting all these in, just trying to listen to the feedback that we're getting from everybody. So this is just a washroom. Another little closet right here. Let's store some goods there. Uh, you know, it's, it's always so nice if you have a two-story house if you have a downstairs bedroom. So you have a nice downstairs bedroom. It is a secondary bedroom. It's good size. Kind of peel back here a little bit. It's got a nice uh, walk-in closet over here. It's empty, but uh, it's a nice size. So you could hang a lot of clothes up in there, right? And then we'll take a look at the bathroom that's down here. So here's the bathroom, single sink. Got a nice floating cabinet there, mirror, toilet. It's got a walk-in shower. I love having windows in the showers, it just it brings in light. So it's, it's pretty important if you ever have been in a dark shower, it's not cool. So I, I think that covers everything downstairs. Let's head upstairs and we'll take a view. All right, here we're at the top of the stairwell. Just thought you'd kind of show you the view. Looking down, so looks nice and cool, right? A lot of cool viewing. Got a lot of nice lights up in the ceiling there. Right here, so you'd have a ceiling fan on like on an eight foot drop. So your ceiling fan, the bottom of the base of the fan, would probably be just below the bottom ledge of those windows in front of you. Here's this loft I was talking about. Really big. Trying to picture the dimensions in here. This thing is like 15 by 15. You can make two rooms out of this. Awesome game room, throw some couches in here. You know, whatever you wanted to do. All right, let us continue. Got some storage here in the hallway. You all seen storage before. It's just kind of what it looks like. Some more secondary bedrooms right here. These ones happen to be empty. We'll take a peek in them. They all have walk-in closets, as you can see. Now these little vents up here, these are kind of cool. These just help keep equal pressure throughout the house. So, you know, sometimes you have air conditioning units that kick on, you have doors that slam here, you know, and stuff like that. Just got another linen closet right there too, so. But anyway, so I'm sure you've all been in a house, AC kicks on, heat kicks on, and boom, door slams. So all these vents you see around the house keeps these uh, rooms equal pressure, and you don't get that slamming going on. So another bedroom. Like I said, just a lot of blank, blank canvas in this house, which is not a bad thing. We've all been in some homes where you're like, whoa, <laughs> what did they do? Why did they paint that? All right, last thing, we're gonna look at the primary bedroom, which is right here. So it's kind of gander in here. It's nice and big, you got a king size bed there, a couple end tables, a little uh, dresser right there. It does have a balcony. We'll pop out real quick before we just take a quick peek in the primary bathroom. So. Here's your balcony. You can see some nice mountain views from up here. And I'm gonna show you the neighbor's pool backyard. So, you know, obviously you can easily put a pool in this house. That's a really big pool over there too. All right, last thing we got to look at is the primary bathroom. So you got two sinks. I do love the floating cabinets. So those of you who watch my channel will notice I'm always pointing those out. Just really nice, clean. You got gray, white. You got me. You got a really big walk-in shower with, uh, as you can see, you got two heads there. You got a power jet and a rainfall, and then you got your bench on the wall. And we're not actually gonna go in the closet. It's packed full of boxes. And then that's a bathroom. We've all seen a bathroom, so. But hey, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, please comment. My information's below. If you have any questions, let us know. Love to talk to you.
And we'll catch you on the next home tour. And of course, hey, if you have any questions about buying or selling a house in Las Vegas, love to have a chat with you. That's my personal cell phone right there. So you call or text that number, you're going to get me. And I hope you all have a great day.